Hi everybody, it's Wanda. I'm gonna experiment again. I think I finally have gotten my paint thin. As you can tell, I tested it up here. Then I lost my little push pin underneath the bottom of my canvas and had to put it back on, so that's why it ran down. But this is how I like it to run if I'm doing a base coat. But now, sometimes when you do this, then it pops up through your paint. So, just be forewarned that that can happen when you get it super thin. But I love the way this flows. Hope my light reflecting isn't causing you all a problem. It's hard for me to tell. I can kind of see whether or not it's the window when the sun's shining in if I'm down here in the afternoon, but at night with the light, it's really hard for me to tell if you're getting reflection. So, there's my base coat. See a couple bubbles. I see something. I don't know if that was a blob or not, but. It's gone now. Get some of this excess off. I haven't done a ring pour in forever. And this is a little thinner than I actually like for a ring pour. But we're gonna see how this works. I had a little leftover turquoise and purple. The lightened purple from that last pour. So we're gonna do a ring, I'm gonna do a ring pour. I think I'm gonna do it up here, kind of catty cornered. I only put the purple in the very top. So it should be mostly turquoise and white. Unless the purple sank on me. Uh-oh, it didn't flow there for a minute. Blop. I usually don't like the middle of a ring pour, so you know what I do? I pour it off. And I also do this, so it looks more like a ring in the middle. So let's see what happens here. 
go this way a little bit since it's kind of not. It's already oblong, so we'll go over this way a little bit. Ooh, look at that blue. Uh-oh, I dropped some off. I didn't want to. If I'm going to lose some, I'd rather lose purple. I'm really surprised that the black isn't coming through this more and making it look darker. So I'm really happy about that. I'll tell you what colors I use besides the purple and the blue in just a moment. Ooh, I actually like it like that. Hmm, looks spacey. And especially with this corner looking like this. I may take a little bit more off that corner to push that back down because I think this will stretch. pretty even with this purple back here it's still pretty now let's see if we can stretch it on out there that came back as a stretch anyway oh yeah that's pretty Oh, look at this. That's that phalo turquoise that I lightened up just a little bit. And this is like a dioxazine purple that was lightened. It, I mixed it myself, but it's basically a dioxazine purple. It's really dark. I used phalo blue and magenta. Nope, I lied. It was cobalt blue and magenta. Now, I was going for Melly D's cloud effect, and I think I kind of got it. I do not use Liquitex. This is Floetrol in Artist Loft white, and that's mixed about half and half with the little bottle of Deco Art Satin, with no extra Floetrol added to it. So the satin did not get watered down with the Floetrol, just the Artist Loft. So when I put it in the cup, I started out with some white, then I went in with my turquoise that was lightened a little bit, it's the Phalo turquoise, and then more white. I layered about three layers of that. And this is um, not a white white, that was the Deco Art Satin. That was white birch, which is just a little off from white, which is fine with me because if you're putting the white in with colors, I like for it to be a little off white. I don't want it to be a bright, bright white, even though I use titanium white all the time to mix everything. But um, I'm not wild about that little corner right there, so I don't know if it'll still move. 
Maybe we can get just a little of that off. I think that the two paints rubbing together is what's causing this cloudy effect. So I'm really, really happy with this. I think it's really pretty. My daughter's gonna have a fit over this one. I just know she is. So thank you so much for watching. This was such an experiment and I'm so happy with it. I may have to do a big one with this if I can find some more of that deco art satin. Um, what I got was just a little two ounce bottle that they had at Hobby Lobby this afternoon when I ran in there. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this and you will try it for yourself. After I layered the white and the turquoise, that's when I've added a couple of layers of the white with the uh, lightened up purple that was like a dioxazine lightened up. So I'm thrilled. I'm just thrilled. It's like, I hope that it keeps popping up more. I don't know if it will or not. And I wondered with having the black underneath it if it was gonna go really dark, but it doesn't look like it has. The purple darkened up some, but it only did it kind of in the corners and I'm fine with that, you know. That's okay with me. So I will pop some bubbles and hope that this dries pretty. And I'll take um, video for like, I'll wait about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, and I'll take some video to have at the end of this. And hopefully I'll have a picture of it later that I can put at the beginning of the video too, and maybe we won't get too much of the black popping through. I'm afraid that's what's gonna happen over time too. We'll see. So thank you for joining me. I love it when you all watch my videos. It means a lot to me. I appreciate it so much. And thank you for spending some time with me today.